we begin with what may be an unprecedented public statement this week from Florida International University's board chair and its president ahead of a student government resolution vote. That student document, that resolution, calls for a ceasefire by Israel in its war against terrorists and uses loaded language, words like oppression, regime, genocide. It suggests the university statements last month standing against Hamas and terror and with all people who stand against terrorism were not enough. That student government resolution has a committee process to go through before it's signed, but the public preview of it raised serious concerns in the community, enough to prompt FIU's president and board chair to get out in front of it. Board of Trustees Chair Roger Tovar is right here at the table to talk with us about it all. And it is so nice to have you on a Sunday morning. Grateful for your time here today. Glenna, thanks for having me. Uh, it, it really is a pleasure to be here. And it's a pleasure to be here representing FIU. It's my alma mater two times over. I know it's yours. One time over. <laughs> One time over. Uh, you know, FIU is a university with 57,000 students, 10,000 faculty and staff. And so, yes. Uh, Can I ask you the question first? Go ahead. <laughs> okay. All right, I wanna talk about a small percentage of that student population. And the student government that drafted this resolution, which is not yet signed, and to the uh, President Jessel said he didn't really wanna comment on it because it wasn't, fair enough, fair point. Why did you feel it was necessary to write this statement to the community? Well, I, I think that's a fair question, and I think uh, most of the time we would not be commenting on anything that's coming in front of SGA. But I think it's important for the public uh, to realize uh, how universities operate. There is a student government. It's a self-governing body. Independent. Independent yeah. of the university, although there is some oversight. Uh, the board uh, does not get involved in student government affairs. Um, but this resolution was brought forward by less than a handful of senators. So within student government, there's a legislative branch, there's a judicial branch, and there's an executive branch. Uh, resolutions come through, uh, and there was three senators, from my understanding, that drafted this resolution, and uh, it, it, it was going to go through its process, and it may go through its process. And, and we'll see what the outcome is. But the, the resolution was distributed throughout the community. Yes. And, I had, and, and Local 10 did a, a news report about it. There was, yeah. there was numerous uh, reports on it. Yeah. And so uh, numerous people reached out to me and wanted to say, why does FIU have this position? And so I, I thought it was important, President Jessel thought it was important, that we put out a statement that we in the administration, him as the president, I as the uh, chair of the board, uh, in no way uh, believe that what is on that resolution is the position of our university and the majority of the people at our university. So I want to, since you bring it up, and because it's not out there yet, and I want to be very clear that this, there's no there there except for a document that is about to be signed. Uh, and so that's why I think it's worthy to talk about it because of the controversy around it. And the resolution itself, it's what, like nine pages long or maybe a little longer. Passion and politics, they are what they are. And we have plenty of those. Facts are facts. And this particular resolution does have some factual errors, some inaccuracies, some historical inaccuracies. And it's footnoted, you know, the re research done, the footnotes mostly are pro-Palestinian, some blogs, and authors. And it asked the university some very specific asks right. to, you know, generally speaking, to collaborate and compromise and work with the, the student government signees to be. And, and how do you, how will you address that? Well, first of all, if I could correct, uh, you say it's going to be signed. I don't know that it will be signed. P pending um, a signature. Uh, uh, the, the resolution needs to go through a number of committees, uh, and then we'll see if it is signed. Um, but, but as far as what you're saying, you're 100% right, and that's what concerned me greatly, is to see, uh, number one, what is written in that resolution. Because if you just read the title, it says ceasefire. Now, I, I think that's an oversimplification 
as to what is going on in Israel. Yeah. Then as you go through some of the statements that they made, they're very concerning. And, uh, and, and then if you go through the citations, I, I think that's a lot of the problem that, that uh, every place in society is encountering. That you can go onto the internet and you can cite, uh, you can find something to support something that you want to say is a fact when it's not a fact. And so, again, uh, the resolution, uh, we support student body, we support for them to be able uh, to have dialogue, debates, and everything else. But as us as the leadership at FIU, we wanted to make sure that we were clear that that resolution does not reflect the position of the president, of the board, or of the majority of the FIU community. The student government, to your point, a wholly separate organization Absolutely. with its own rights and its own freedoms Absolutely. and its own responsibilities from the university. Is there any crossover? Is there a uh, faculty advisor maybe? Is there um, a, a mechanism where the university works with SGA on issues? And, and I guess part two of that question is, on this subject, has anybody in the university I hate the word liaised, but I just can't think of another one at the moment. Liaised with them. <laughs> there, there, there is a vice president of student affairs, and, and so there is uh, oversight, uh, but, but they have their process. And keep in mind, again, I'll repeat, there was three senators that drafted this resolution. I believe there's a total of 47 senators within student body. So. Um, to tell you I would know what the outcome is or what the feelings are of the other 44 senators, I don't. Uh, to say that I'm trying to influence uh, how they run student government, I am not. But I am going to make a statement. I will not sit silently by when I see a document that is full of, uh, uh, of false statements backed up by websites from who knows where. Uh, and for people in this community, and many of them which are, are hurt by that statement, by this resolution, to think that this is the position of FIU, I will not be silent. The, um, we've seen news reports from campuses around the country, uh, some Ivy League, some not. There have been rallies, there have been some ugliness on those campuses, there's been administrators who really have not taken this kind of stand. FIU has not seen, we've seen rallies, all peaceful. Um, no South Florida university or college has seen any of that kind of chaotic environment. Why do you think that is? Because we have the most amazing students in this country. <laughs> but uh, I kind of threw that one uh, up. You yeah, kid it out you, of the You bar. did, you did. But we, we really do. Uh, if you go to college campuses throughout this country, our student body is different. Our student body, a lot of them are first gen. Uh, there's a uh, 70, 75 percent uh, happen to be minorities, uh, but they're just amazing students. And so uh, I, I think everything I've seen, uh, there is debate, there is dialogue, but it's done in a very respectful way. Uh, so I, I will tell you I'm proud of our students. I'm proud to be, uh, again, an alumni. I'm proud to be associated with FIU, as are you. And uh, so uh, that's why we're not seeing that at FIU. And, and now you're the board chair? And I'm the board chair. Head honcho, and, and, top guy. Well, I don't know I about head honcho, <laughs> but I, I, I'm, I'm passionate about what we do yeah. and uh, the opportunity that we provide to our students. Yeah. So nice to have you here. I hope you will come back, and we absolutely will be following the trajectory of whatever happens here. Glenna, thank you for having me. Okay. Thank you.